Alright guys, um, this is going to be my hundredth attempt, I'm just playing, uh, it's probably going to be like attempt number nine, uh, my clowns are laying eggs, so trying to keep them alive, but um, I was able to get them past day nine last time until I realized I needed a sponge filter to kind of filter out the water because the water got really dirty and it just all of them died I kind of felt bad for them but um, yeah I'm gonna tell you what I did and how I'm doing it uh, this is my breeding tank I know a lot of people like to do the um, the flower pot method uh, some people it works great for them and obviously it wasn't working out for me so I put rock in there and they love the rock they like to lay the eggs on the rock the male is kind of a little bit rough she'll probably lay 100 to 300 eggs and by the time you know it you're down to like a hundred and uh, when you put them in the other tank obviously some of them are gonna die some of them are not gonna hatch and um, and when they do hatch some of them die off so that's how I get down to like maybe 20 of them but alright so this is my tank right here they lay the eggs on the last one that they laid was for an example she laid it on Wednesday wait a week on the next Wednesday coming up that night you would want to pull the rock out or the flower pot put it in your 10 gallon tank and uh, keep an air stone kind of on it to keep the eggs circulating and moving and then um, turn the lights off and then when you wake up in the morning you should have your babies in there uh, pretty much just put your rock or your flower pot back in uh, the tank where it came from put exactly where it was at and should be good um, a lot of people say to put the eggs when you're transporting them keep it in the same water so it doesn't hit air uh, I never had a problem with that as far as um, as them bleaching or, or turning white I mean some of them do turn white but I think it's because of the the water climate when I swap them over you want to take some of your tank water from the uh, parents tank and do like a 50-50 mix and kind of keep their water and put some clean water and kind of get all your your nitrates, your nitrites, your ammonia and your pH just right and uh, your next step would be your food I'll show you my tank it is a 2.5 gallon I went with the smaller tank setup because obviously you see all the white specks floating around in there those are my rotifiers and I have a lot of them in there because I want to try to keep them alive and I want them to be eating so I went with a smaller tank it's only 2.5 gallons but keep in mind it is a lot difficult than a 10 gallon because with a 10 gallon you don't have to worry about too much uh, ammonia spikes or nitrate spikes because it's a bigger tank and the amount of food that's going in there you don't have to worry about it those little silver dots that are swimming around those are my clown babies um, I ordered my uh, rotifiers from the Reed Mariculture site I got um, I think the, the million count and then uh, RG complete uh, you want to get the RG complete it's pretty much dummy proof you just take 11 milliliters to your four gallons of uh, rotifiers in a five gallon bucket squirt that in there keep the water tinted green and uh, you do that every day the first three days when you receive your rotifiers don't start cold, uh, feeding your your clowns yet you know you want to get them uh, ahead of time and let them culture up you know for the first three days then you want to start pulling out 25 percent of the rotifiers I mean you could throw it in your reef tank or you know anywhere else uh, until your clowns hatch if they hatched um, a lot of people are starting to use like coffee filters I don't know how good they are I haven't done the coffee filter I did use the um, it's a screen let me try to grab that screen real quick for you so you guys could see it This is a screen here. It's a uh, from Florida Aquaculture Nursery Farms. Um, the website's right there. Let me try to focus in on it so you guys can at least kind of see it. 
there it is. But um, yeah, it's two screens in here. It's like a cylinder base. You got the first screen is uh, not the 53. That's the second screen you want to have. The first one is 120. So you pretty much you pour it into this screen and you'd have it set up like you have it set up like that. Pour the water into the top or the rotifiers into the top. They'll screen out and then the rotifiers will get caught on the bottom screen. All the food like your uh, RG complete which keeps the water green is going to be in that top screen I usually just I dump it back in the bucket and uh, so I don't kind of waste the food and whatever gallon of water that I pulled out I throw it in my reef tank because some of them rotifiers will get past the screens so I kind of just I utilize the water I just throw it in my reef tank and it seems to do good in there um, with your bucket which is right here show you the uh, this is just a uh, the another thing the filter a lot of people say to get rotty floss or rotifier floss or whatever it is that is just a uh, I think it's ocean blue or something like that it's a filter for like regular hangover filters or whatever you want to use I use that I use a big piece of it to cut it and I just kind of swing it around inside the bucket and then um to clean up whatever waste they do. I mean, they waste little. There's not a lot of waste. Uh, let me turn the light on so you guys can kind of see what's going on in this bucket here. Get a flashlight. Alright, so that's the water. It's nice and green. And when you pull it out, you're going to notice that it's a light green it's not like super dark like what you see in the bucket you know that's what you want right there you know kind of keep it that nice tinted green in the bucket it looks super dark but at first I was flipping out cuz I didn't know how much to put in there but you're only supposed to put 11 milliliters in that bucket a day and uh, yeah just keep the air stone notice how the bubbles are starting to form up on the sides kinda just wanna adjust your air to the rotifier so they don't foam up on the edges or whatever and it starts acting like a kind of like a protein skimmer almost like and um, I just cut a hole on the top of my bucket on the lid and uh, I put some uh, fish weights so every time I pull up on it and I'll drop it it kind of keeps it centered so it keeps everything circulating around that center and I mean that's pretty much about what I've been doing lately. Uh, I got the heater in there. I got the air stone. I'm still waiting on my sponge filter, which is probably the reason why the first batch died. It's because I didn't have that sponge filter in there. But um, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna move these guys into a 10 gallon tank next. If not, I'll probably switch them. I got another 2.5 gallon right in the back here. So I'll probably move them in there. Um, this light, I got that light from Office Depot. Uh, I don't know how much I paid. I think I paid like 20 bucks. It only wastes 3 watts though. That's the good thing about it. Got the Vibraflow too. Shit's really quiet. You don't have no noise. I mean, it's very mild noise, so I can sleep through it. Um, got my uh, my valve gang over here separating... Uh, all the air stones I got going everywhere and um, yeah it's pretty much about it uh, oh another thing a big key factor after after the fifth day of them being alive you want to start feeding them baby brine shrimp that's another key um, I went with the I went and bought some of this Ocean Nutrition Instant Baby Brine Shrimp. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try putting uh, a little bit of this in there. I only bought this just in case of an emergency that I needed it. 
and my brine shrimp that I'm hatching didn't hatch. Uh, I do have to go buy the hatchery system from my local fish store and uh, start culturing some brine shrimp. Um, the first time I did it wasn't too hard. Just pretty much get your packet poured in some salt water and just, or not even some fresh water, mix it in because it's got the salt already there, and just kind of keep the air stone on it. And, within 24 hours they should hatch but uh, last time I kinda messed up and this was what I needed to kinda save me but that didn't happen and I mean I still was able to keep them alive for a couple more days but the water got so polluted that they just died I thought I was doing a good job of doing water changes but that didn't work but um, yeah so the water temp I keep it 79 80 around there they lay the eggs, I pull the eggs out the night they're about to hatch, I put them in the tank half and half, half of their, the parents water and half of good water, clean water, and I uh, check my uh, nitrates, my nitrites, my ammonia, my pH, and, um, and I put the rock in there, I put the air stone in an angle where I could have the air flow on the, the eggs, and they'll hatch remove the rock put it back in the tank the way you found it or the your uh, flower pot um, put the light over them so they can see where they're going put your uh, rotor fires that you had culturing for at least three days inside the tank you don't want to use the water so you want to filter out the rotor fires because that's another reason why they'll probably die is the you'll spike up the ammonia because all the waste and the food from the RG complete and then um just pour your, your rest of your water in like your reef tank or or another tank um, or throw it down the drain refill your rotifier bucket back with uh, 0 0.017 salinity and throw 11 milliliters of RG complete I'll go show you guys the RG complete so you guys know what you're buying I got fish tanks all over this house I got my little predator tank right here Show you these guys. Got my Panther grouper. This tank's kind of dirty. I gotta clean it. Got my puffer and my eel. I got the chocolate chip starfish in the back. All right, let me go ahead and show you guys the food. Now, at first, I had bought something small like this. That did not work. Those are rotifiers. They eat a lot. And I went with this bottle here, RG Complete, and uh, only supposed to put it 11 milliliters. I didn't know how much I was gonna have left over, so I bought an extra bottle because the shipping and everything from Reed Mariculture kicks you in the ass. Excuse my French, but uh, yeah, I went with this bottle. It was 30 something dollars, I think like 32 or something like that. And the rotifiers are 20, so go with that. Kind of just put that in the, the bucket, 11 milliliters a day. Should be set. And my quarantine tank. This guy's sick. I hate tanks for some odd reason. They always get sick so easily. Anyways, back to the babies. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's what I've been doing. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll make another video. I think today would be day three or four I can't remember I gotta count back and uh, I think Monday will be day five I wanna say I'm not too sure that's when I'm gonna switch it over to the brine shrimp I'll show you how I do that and uh, keep you guys updated with that and yeah it's pretty much about it let me know if you guys have any questions you wanna inbox me leave a comment whatever works for me I'll see you guys on the next video